Clarissa has been around the, the block. She's uh, hey, yo. with her however Ali's daughter wants it. What do you mean by that? Whether she wants a box, brawl, whatever, pick her poison. Either way, she loses that fight, hands down. Mmm. I like that. I ain't gonna lie. I, I, everything you said was dope, but then when you said that, uh, you know, she'd be on the block, it sounded like J-Lo. I'm gonna take a point. That's crazy. I ain't know what you meant by that. <laughs> she was Jenny from the block. Yeah, Clarissa from the block. <laughs> If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> so, all right, for those of you that don't know, man, you know my boy Edwin <laughs> and my boy Ty, they about to square up. Let's get it. Teach your man how to squabble. Get that trigger next time, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you see Edwin down to my right. We see uh, uh, Ty down on my left. Hold on, let me pull up the scoreboard. I'm, while I pull up the scoreboard, I'm going to introduce the topics and introduce the rules. Give me a second, please. Be a little patient. And we gonna get right, man. Shout out to Edwin, round one sports talk. Shout out to him for being a uh, 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 ready and and willing participant. Shout out to my boy Ty. You know he's a current champion right now. He's two and zero. Oh. So Edwin, you got you. You know what I'm saying you're going against a champ right now. You're going against a champ right now. Um, so let's get it, man. In the blue corner, we have Ty. Let's get it. In the blue corner, we have Ty. In the red corner, we have Edwin. All right, let me explain the rules. Uh, give me a second. Give me a second. My boy, my boy, Edwin, ready. He got the belt and everything. Oh, Ty, you have to, hey, lock in, Ty. My boy, my boy, my boy ain't coming to play. All right, let's get it. So the rules of, of DBT square up are, are these, man. You know, uh, first number rule. I mean, first number rule. Rule number one. This is a boxing debate segment. It's competitive but conversational. Passion is expected and encouraged, but disrespect isn't. So please be respectful. Rule number two. I, as in Doc, am playing the role of the moderator. You know, I'll be deciding um, who gets a point and and uh, and who loses the point. Uh, please expound on your ideas. That's the name of the game. But excessive elaboration requires me to quiet your mic hugging, time stealing, inconsiderate loquacious ass up by playing this music. That means if you're going too long, I'm gonna play this music right here. And when you hear that music, you might get a point deducted and you might need to wrap it up. You know what I'm saying? That's really, there's really no definitive time limit though. As long as you make a good point, I'm, I'm rocking with you. You keep me engaged, we gonna keep it going, but it'll be up to my discretion. And I wanna let Uncle Bernie, you know, he has something to say regarding the time. Check out Uncle Bernie. Mom, tell like it is. Three minutes. That's a heavyweight one round bout. And people done got knocked out in the first goddamn round. All right, now rule number three. Rule number three, the final rule, man, most important rule. Have fun, laugh a little. The boxing debate is fun, it's exciting, and sometimes we forget that, especially on YouTube. But let's remind folks that boxing debate is fun, and let's let's be the change that we seek. And then another, um, another one more, one more rule is that each person goes twice per round. So for each topic, Ty will go, then Edward will go, then Ty will go, then Edward will go, and then the winner of that round gets to pick the next topic. So any questions? Uh, I know Ty got it, but what about you, uh, Edwin? Any questions? I'm good. Okay, you sure? All right, bet. My boy said he good. He said he ready to go, man. So I'm going to bring up the topics. Ty, you are the champion, so what topic do you want to start off with, or what theme? The themes are dream matches, what if, or predictions. I come on with that. All right, bet. Know, so, all right, bet. So we gonna start off with dream matches, man. So the theme is dream matches, which means that these fights are all hypothetical, and we're all everybody that I ask you, we're gonna assume that they're at their best, meaning they're at their prime. So it's gonna be the best version of themselves versus the best versions of themselves of, of their opponent. So the first one, we got Edwin and we got Ty here. Let's start off with a dream matchup with my boy Paul Punisher Williams. Who's tall, lanky, and long? Shout out to him. Who's he's suffering some paralysis right now? Big salute to him. We all know what kind of boxer he was. Versus another tall demon in Sebastian Towering Inferno, Fundora. Who wins and why? Go ahead, Ty. Can we get another topic? <laughs> you see, you see, you give them an opportunity to pick, and then they don't want to pick what I pick. Yeah, you can get another topic, but I'm gonna take a point. You start off negative, bro. You wildin'. 
All right, so we go take he a point from Tar. Yeah, yeah, he wallet. He, he I, I took a point. Don't even worry about it. Edwin taking the lead already. All right, which one you want, bro? What's the options again? Uh, since you don't want Paul Williams or Fandora, uh, we have Layla Ali or Clarissa Shields, uh, David Benavidez or David Morrell, or Manny Pacquiao versus Lomachenko. We get Layla and Clarissa uh, Shields. All right, bet. Let's get it, man. So go ahead, take off. Layla, who wins this dream match? Layla Ali or Clarissa Shields? Go. Ty representing the blue corner. All right, in the match with the rest of Shields and Layla, I have the rest of winning by UD. Okay. Yeah. That would be a point, but you start off negative, so now you at zero. I just gave you a point. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, go ahead. When it comes down to pedigree, people mm. will sit there and talk about who Layla's dad is, but that ain't got nothing to do with her in the ring. Mm, talk to person that never been an actual champion. Never won anything at the Olympics. Mm. But when we sit here and look at it on the flip side, Larissa Shields is the most decorated woman in boxing. Ooh, I like that. That's a fact. That's a fact, ain't it? Those mm -hmm. big facts right there. We sit here and talk about with the men, who's going undisputed. Didn't she do that, what, one, two, three times? Mm, three times a lady. Only Talk person in the sport of boxing to do so. Mm. Ever. Mm. They don't give her credit either. When it comes down to style, we always talk about mm, competition. But who has Layla actually fought? Oh, hold on now. The man, the man coming at it disrespectfully. Okay. That's what we're doing? I mean, she really doesn't have a resume and didn't fight none of the women of her time. Mm. Layla, you got to tighten up, Layla. Frazier daughter. Mmm, Francine? Somebody that was 13 to 16 years older than her. That's true. That's true. She was she was Off a little bit older. My head, I think what was it was it Jacqueline, Jacquay, whatever, Frazier. Yeah. She was damn near 39 years old. I think 37 to be exact. That's all right. That's all right. Yeah. She, she 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 younger than uh when AJ fought Klitschko. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> Needless to say, resume. <laughs> You know, however you want to uh, slice it boxing-wise, mm -hmm. the rest is the better fighter, better resume. I kind of agree with that. Better okay. opposition. Okay. And I'm going to end this round with that. Go ahead, Edwin. All right, right now, uh, Edwin, he's up 8-0 on you, bro. Who you got, Layla Ali or Clarissa Shields, and why? Take off, Edwin. Uh, this is a no-brainer. It's Clarissa Shields, hands down. Mm. Um, I actually think that Clarissa Shields might stop her. Mm. <laughs> that she stops her because um clarissa's body of work she and even coming off her last performance where she became the heavyweight female champion um clarissa shields when it'll come down to it is that you're gonna bring the dog out of her and if you're talking about a warrior spirit clarissa's more battle tested and mm, i like I mean, that i like that although, although she had good fights right she just doesn't merit the kind of accomplishment and the face that clarissa shields and being olympian as well so clarissa has been around the the block she's um hey, yo. paid the way of women's sports and uh, i believe that the bar that she set not only is it good for all females but if we're talking about a straight up fight whether however ali's daughter wants it whether she wants a box, brawl, whatever, pick her poison. Either way, she loses that fight, hands down. Mmm. I like that. I ain't gonna lie. I, I, everything you said was dope. But then when you said that, uh, you know, she'd be on the block. It sounded like J-Lo. I'm about to take a point. That's crazy. I ain't know what you meant by that. <laughs> <laughs> she was Jenny from the block. Yeah, Clarissa from the block. <laughs> I said she been around the block like like I know what you meant, bro. I'm just messing with you, bro. <laughs> yeah, through, through, through like competitions. And right, 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 right. I'm just messing with you, bro. When they saw her and her team come in, people recognize her. You know what I'm saying? Be like, oh Facts. shit, that's she. Come to the door. Go ahead, go ahead, uh, Ty. Girl. Your rebuttal. This shouldn't even be topic of discussion. Because mm. Clarissa would have fought Lucia Ronaldo. Larissa would have fought 
and Wolf. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Did Layla fight them? No. Nope. Not that I recall. It's hard for me to even think of a weight class or a time period or age to even set this fight. Dang. She ain't had no chance? No. We talking about the GOAT. Mmm. She, 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 she copyrighted that, in it. She trademarked that, in it. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Layla's biggest claim is who her daddy was. Hey, yo, that's I mean, disrespectful, that's, that's, fine. that's disrespectful, but I like that point. Respectful. That's a good point. I respect it. Yeah. Without her dad's name, who is she as a boxer? Mmm. Undefeated? Don't count? Who did she uh -huh. beat? Mmm. Okay, okay. When we sit here and look at uh, the rest of the resume, you can sit there and say, well, yeah, it was one bacon belt on the line, but she still be the champion, though. Mmm. That's true. No, no matter who bad. Women's heavyweight, middleweight. Mmm. It's a reason why. A lot of these women are squeezing down to 130 and 135 because they don't want to fight at the actual weight and see her. Mmm. They ducking? I mean, hey, that's on now. Hey, let, let me Does Layla have her gold medal? Know. Is she an Olympian? Nope. No. Nope. She, she, she competed. She competed. A, 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 you, you, it ain't your turn, brother. It ain't your turn. I'm trying not to take a point from you, bro. I mean, she, <laughs> she competed, but she got sent home. Marissa came home with two gold medals. But, 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 but Ty is going to the law. Almost cut the music off. I mean, we ended at this one. All Next right. Topic. All right. Go ahead, Ty. I mean, sorry, Edwin. Well, you know, um... Look, and I don't know a lot of guys that would fight Ann Wolf, let alone women. Mmm. You know, um, Ann Wolf was a beast. Like, she was a beast. You know, um... So, look, as, as this was a... It, it is what it is. It was a... It, it's an imaginary fight. And my assessment is that I just believe that Clarissa Shield is the more battle-tested of the two women. I believe she accomplished way more in the sport and when you had connections like your dad's name if you were really about it you could have got those title fights mm. the fact that you didn't fight them and didn't secure those fights speaks to the fact that you really didn't want to step up to that competition and dedicate <laughs> yourself to a level in the sport that was expected from you mm. in order to grab that torch as your father you rode the coattails of his name i get it he did a lot a lot of people in your position would have did the same thing and i don't knock her for that i'm not saying anything bad about her right but what i'm saying is level of expectation she was more lying the line you know, ca I'm cashing in on fights and opportunities and living off daddy's name rather than what Clarissa Shield was getting in out of the mud. Out the mud. Facts. And the dirty water of Flint. Ain't she from there? <laughs> Somewhere in Michigan. All right, man. So that was the, that, that was it. Edwin, do you have some more? Yeah, yeah I'm good. All right. That was good right there, man. That was a close round, man. That was a close round. 15 points. Sorry, I forgot to give you a 15 point, my fault. 15 points and 17, though. Ty took that round by a close one, man. He took the first round, goes to Ty. That was very close, though. Shout out to Ty, shout out to Edwin. All right, so next topic. Um, all right, so let's get it, man. So our next theme is going to be what if. And I want to say we go start off with Edwin this time. Um, can we start off with Ty last time, right? Yeah, Ty started off. Yeah. So, so we're going to start off with Edwin this time. I want to know what would it have been? For Arislandi Lara's career, if he would have got the decision over Canelo. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets. 